The future of TikTok in the United States is still up in the air this morning. The bill that could ban TikTok has passed the House but faces an uncertain road in the Senate. Political analysts say there is less urgency to act in the Senate, and senators have differing theories about how to address national security concerns about the popular app's China-based owner. In fact, Texas Senator John Cornyn says he doesn't expect the Senate to act as quickly as the House. Larry Collins is here now after talking with a popular TikTok influencer who is a North mm -hmm. Texas native. Larry, tell us more. Good morning. Yeah, this is him right here. He is next level popular. Plano native Charles Brockman III, known to his 7.7 .7 million TikTok followers as the only CB3. Now, his parody comedy has made him a TikTok sensation with 357 million likes across the platform, making this his bona fide career. I tell you all this because what happens to TikTok matters to his financial future. TikTok has really been the stepping stone that really elevated my career. This was the perfect thing I could have done right after college. Um, you know, I was just a regular college student athlete, didn't have the most money, but once I, you know, got really into social media, now it pays my bills just from constantly being consistent, putting my work out there. Now he splits his time between Texas, Los Angeles, and New York, invited to the Grammys, New York Fashion Week, and getting to meet celebrities that he has parodied and people he's looked up to, all thanks to TikTok. The idea of that going away, all that revenue, all that engagement is very scary for him. Again, this is his real-life career. I caught up with him while he was at South by Southwest with other influencers, and he tells me they are all watching what happens on Capitol Hill very closely. This could affect the economy of a new generation of entrepreneurs, but many like Charles are already looking for a possible pivot and an exit strategy if needed. TikTok, there's been ups and downs with if it's going to stay, if it's going to go. So the very first time it was kind of a threat. I instantly moved to YouTube. Now I'm on Instagram building that same following. So I think being smart about that and just knowing that your audience can follow you, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, YouTube, where he already has more than 5 million subscribers. He and other influencers say they will continue to create and they will wait. It could actually take months for a ban to go into effect if the Senate joins the House and the president said that he would likely sign it. Deborah? Yeah, if the ban does happen, he's prepared, Larry. He's ready. But then if it doesn't, he's now on three platforms and, and that increases his reach. This could be reach. better. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you.